Boy, it looks like you have like Medusa-like snakes coming out of your head. Ouch. Today's video is for all of you out there who cannot curl your hair, or maybe some of you who want perhaps an easier way to curl your hair. We'll see. Uh, recently, I did a blow drying hair tutorial. In fact, you can find it right up there. And I feel like I've mastered that technique as far as blowing out my hair goes, but when it comes to curling it, <laughs> I'm so far from it. I cannot curl my hair. And you're thinking, well, Kara, go watch a YouTube video, a tutorial like the one you did. And I have, I've done that multiple times. I've had two, maybe three stylists show me how to curl it. And look at this. I bought a regular curling iron like we all have. I actually have two of these. And look, this is the casualty of my hair trying to curl it. And then someone said, hey, that's way hard. Get one of these, this wand. It's gonna be much easier. So I spent like 80 bucks on it and um, eh, kinda works, kinda doesn't. Needless to say, for whatever reason, I have a hard time curling my hair and I've talked to a lot of people who feel the same way. And right now, the trend is to have these really loose, fun waves that I would like to achieve. I don't typically wear them at work, but if I'm going out, I wanna do something different and I can't. I was walking through Ulta doing my normal, what could I possibly need from here routine? And I saw this. It is the, ta-da, Infinity Pro Conair Curl Secret. It claims to have a revolutionary new way to create beautiful shiny curls by doing it for you. So since I clearly cannot curl my hair, um, I need to have this machine do it. And I thought it would be fun to test it out together and see if it works because if it can work for me, I guarantee you it can work for you. I've tried just about everything and you know, I failed. I had someone at work once tell me this was years ago, whenever the curl trend started becoming really a thing, uh, they said, boy, it looks like you have like Medusa like snakes coming out of your head. Ouch, probably could have said it nicer, but we're moving forward with the Infinity Pro Curl Secret. So I'm gonna try it out today with you and see if it works because if it does, I'm gonna have curly hair more often. Let's talk about the Curl Secret. This is a heavy duty piece of hair equipment. Let me just tell you, it's fairly heavy. And if you look at it, I mean, it's intense, um, but a little background. So it has two heat levels. Um, high and low, look at that. And it creates three different curls. So a tighter curl, a looser, and then a looser one than that. And that is all based on these numbers that you see here, eight seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. So that's how long that you will hold your hair inside of this curling mechanism up here up top. Ooh, do you like that mechanism? Uh, and you would leave it there, it beeps, and that means it's time for you to take the curl out. When I told people that I was going to try and review this product, they said, well, isn't your hair gonna get tangled? According to Conair and the instructions, as long as you keep this side towards your head, it's very clearly marked, so this side always has to stay towards your head, it shouldn't do that. It should immediately shut down and stop taking the hair up into this section up here. If your hair was going to start to get pulled into the curling mechanism and tangled, it would immediately shut off. That's what it says, so that you don't get a big rat's nest. So I don't know, we're gonna see. You just put your hair in it and it sucks it up and then it curls. When the beep comes out, you let it go. You're supposed to be able to do that all the way around your hair and um, have gorgeous, well, what does the girl look like? Ooh, here she is gorgeous curls like her. And so I'm assuming she put hers on like three. So that's that's how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna walk you through it, let's do it. Step one, it says to comb through your hair. Um, I have a mirror here again, by the way, that I'm watching. I have some product in my hair, some mousse when I blew it dry and a little bit of hairspray today. Um, overall, I don't have a lot. I am gonna add a little dry texturizing spray. I use this Davines to add, um, a little bit of texture and some volume. And I'm hoping that will help a little bit, just a touch. You wanna make sure that it's nice and soft. I'm gonna piece mine together 
I'm gonna do it in sections because I find that that's easier. Step two, you're supposed to take about an inch to a half an inch piece of hair. I'd say that's about an inch. It says you don't really want much more than that or it's not gonna take it into the curl chamber. It's called the curl chamber, by the way. I read the instructions and figured that out. So then, um, step three, you wanna make sure, again, this side towards your head, and you literally take it, run it through to the bottom of your hair. Are you ready for this? Sounds like a bomb. <laughs> okay, we'll give the um, secret curl a pass right there because that was the first piece that I did. Let's go through a couple more. So I'm taking about an inch, a half an inch piece of hair again, and I am putting the hair in the middle where the curl chamber is. And once I close it, it's supposed to suck the hair up, and then you hear that beeping, and we'll wait to see if it curls. Waiting. Okay. <gasps> Better? Better? Not bad? Okay. Okay. And if you notice, this piece that I did earlier, it's kind of starting to fall and it's not looking so bad. So that's, that's kind of a win. I'm, I'm excited about that. Now, something I noticed when I first started trying it, even though I'm reading the instructions <laughs> and it tells me to place the curl chamber on the hair and then it'll suck it up for whatever reason, I don't believe it. So a few times I feel like I'm placing it too close to my head, wrong. And then I feel like I'm taking it out to the end, wrong. You're just supposed to place it in the middle of your head and it just somehow miraculously sucks all the hair up. So I have this setting on 10 seconds right now, which is gonna be more of a medium curl. I'll try the eight seconds here in a minute because I don't want a super tight curl. There you go. I mean, it's curling it. It's not a pretty curl, but we haven't brushed it out and kind of styled it yet. So let's go ahead and try eight seconds on the curl chamber and see if that gives more of the look that I want, that looser looking curl. One thing I like about this is that it says this side towards the head. I know I keep mentioning that, but if it didn't, I would constantly be going, what side, what side? So that's kind of dummy proof there. Okay, right here in the middle and a little bit shorter, maybe a looser curl. And there you go. Yeah, so you can see on this side, it's a tighter curl and already you have more of a loose curl there. Um, one thing I notice is that by holding it out to the side, you're getting a little bit of volume here at the root. Not a bad thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do this entire side in eight seconds because I like the way the eight second curl is looking better than the tighter curl on the other side. Obviously it's your preference, but for the style that I'm going for tonight, which I'm hoping will look good enough to be able to actually go out later um, with curled hair, now, I kind of want to try to stump it. I want to see if perhaps, <laughs> if I put too much hair in it to where it would tangle, it'll actually stop like it says it does. So let's try to totally screw up my hair. Let me get a big old chunk. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> if I've got to cut this thing out, I'm in trouble. Well, it did it. That was a two inch piece. That's probably a good two, two and a half inches. Okay. I skipped that. Let's see if it does small pieces. It does. It just like sucks it right up. Oop, little tiny curl. I don't know, there's something kind of fun about this because right now, since it's new, I don't really know what kind of curl is gonna come out of here. At this point, I haven't run into any snags. Um, <laughs> I haven't had this thing malfunction. 
And if you notice, I mean, I'm, tr I'm kind of trying to not use it correctly right this second in hopes to see if it will actually trigger that function. Opening it, bam, curl. Well, I've played with it a little bit. Um, you kind of get the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my entire head and then I'll let you know what I think when I'm done. I mean, that's not, that's not much of a curl. That's better. Now let's do the top. Shirley Temple would be proud. If you noticed in the video, I know we sped it up, but I mean, my arm is shaking. This thing is really heavy. Now, clearly I'm new to using it, so it's going to take me more time. I think using a regular curling iron, if you can curl your hair or even the wand is gonna go much faster. I mean, you're waiting eight seconds for each piece, fine, but then it's making sure that you've got the right hair in and it's kind of complicated in the back. Now, I will tell you that every single time I did more than a couple of inches of hair, if the hair is not going to fit through this um, curl chamber here, it's going to beep at you. Um, I mean, I can find like a piece that I did back here just to give you an example. Ooh, almost dropped it. Um, of putting too much in. So if you were to take too much and then try to do it, it immediately beeps. You heard that. It's not going to take the hair in. So it does do the default. I didn't run in um, to any situation where I felt like my hair was going to get tangled. But it's heavy. This thing has got to be at least a couple of pounds. That's tough to hold for, you know, 15 minutes while you're doing your hair. So you're definitely getting a workout if you don't go to the gym. If you notice, I put my finger here. I mean, I wouldn't leave it here um, for longer than, a, you know, maybe 20 seconds, but it's not like super hot. That heat is staying inside the curl chamber. So I don't really think there's like a fear of, and this is not hot over here at all. So there's no fear like burning yourself. So I almost feel like if you had um, someone who is younger, uh, I mean, obviously to your discretion, they could perhaps use this too without fear of getting burnt like you perhaps would with a traditional curling iron. Well, for the sake of time, let's go ahead and brush it out and style it a little bit. But I will tell you, it curls your hair, clearly. I feel like I probably achieved more curl than I typically would on my own, especially in the back, because I can never seem to get it tight enough and it always just goes crazy. But let's brush it out, style it before I make my final decision. Okay, done. Not too bad. This particular kind of curl look isn't necessarily that loose wave trend I've been seeing. I think if maybe you were to start the curl chamber a little bit lower and not go so high up on your head, you wouldn't get that tight curl because I noticed like some of these smaller pieces I've had to really spray down because they're just kind of going crazy. Typically, I probably wouldn't even curl those. Um, so this is body, this is curl. I'd say kind of a sexy beachy look. A couple of things I wanna point out. Obviously, there's a camera in front of me, I'm sitting down. Um, I think if I was standing up, it'd be a little bit easier. But let me just say, even though I was taking time to make sure it looked nice, I just kinda smashed the hair in there and held it. It wasn't like I was making sure that it was perfect on every single curl. So I guess imagine if you were to spend even more time on it, perhaps you could really get the look that you want. But uh, you know, to me, I've never been able to achieve this look, ever. Um, normally, one side of the hair looks wonky, and I feel like both sides look fairly symmetrical, and that includes the back. I would not have been able to do this with a traditional curling iron. So from someone who, for whatever reason, cannot curl their hair today, I actually did. It's not cheap, so it's gonna run you about 100 bucks. 
Uh, but I will provide a link at the bottom in the description box along with the products I used in my hair. And if you have any curl secrets of your own, let me know. Go ahead, comment below. Don't forget, if you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe. Have a great week.